Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a video about hair care products. I realized that on my channel I have never done like a dedicated video about all the hair products I use, the uh, hair tools that I use, so I figured I'd just sit down and kind of talk to you guys about my current favorite hair care products. So yeah, if you guys want to see some of the different hair care products that I use, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually my number one favorite hair care product that I own right now. This is like just the one thing I feel like I cannot live without. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. Oh my gosh, I just need like a quick moment of silence for this product. This is so good. And I had heard that this was good for a long time, so it's weird that it took me so long to try it. This is like the best smelling hair product ever. It smells like candy for your hair. So even if this didn't even work at all as a product, I probably would still keep buying it just based on how good it smells. So it says that this is supposed to reduce your blow dry time up to 50%, which is crazy. It also says it provides intense thermal defense up to 428 degrees Fahrenheit and it resists humidity for up to 20 hours. This lightweight formula detangles, smooths, and increases shine. Ideal for medium textured hair. So they actually sell a mist version of this. So if you have really fine or really thin hair, I would recommend getting the mist. It's basically the same product, but I think it's just a little bit more lightweight, so it's not like weighing you down. But anyway, I love this. I really do feel like it cuts down my blow dry time. I think it makes a huge difference in how soft my hair is after I blow dry dry it, um, how easy it is to manage. I can't say enough good things about this. I freaking love this. Kenra, bless you. And since I ended up liking that so much, I actually went back and started looking at more Ken Kenra, Kenya. I went back and started looking at more Kenra products because I figured if that one was so good and smelled so good, the other ones have to be good too. So I ended up picking up the Kenra Daily Provision, which is basically a leave-in conditioner. So I just got this recently, maybe a week ago. It's only 15 bucks. Which I like about the Kenra products too is that they're not crazy expensive. I have some hair care that's like so expensive. I'm like, why? <laughs> why am I buying that? Yeah, so this is sort of just like a typical leave-in conditioner. I recently had my hair colored. Um, so I noticed that after I had my hair colored, it was a lot harder for me getting out of the shower to kind of comb through all the tangles and everything. So I thought I'd try a leave-in conditioner, see how it worked. Wow, worst that's the worst accent of all time. <laughs> I thought I'd try a leave-in conditioner. What is that? That's like country British. I thought, I thought I'd try a leave-in conditioner. No, I don't know. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop doing that. So yes, this is a leave-in conditioner. It's supposed to hydrate, detangle, add shine while preventing breakage and split ends. So those are all of the things I need help with. And then it also says you can use this on damp or dry hair, which I think is interesting. I always just use it in my damp hair, but lately at night when my ends are kind of dry looking, I should give a little spritzy spritz to my ends. Um, but yeah, so far I like this and it's, there's like a ton of product in here. So I'm like, wow, for 15 bucks, this should last me a while. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about are the current uh, shampoo and conditioner that I'm using. I kind of change up my shampoo and conditioner all the time. So there's actually a lot of different brands that I like. This is just the current one that I'm using. It's the one that my hair lady recommended. So this is by Kevin Murphy and I use the Repair Me. So this is the Repair Me Wash and the Repair Me Rinse aka conditioner, they just call it rinse, which is funny because growing up, I always called conditioner cream rinse. Is that a, have any of you guys ever heard of cream rinse? I grew up calling it cream rinse and my mom called it cream rinse. And then someday was somebody was like, um, it's called conditioner. And I was like, oh, okay. But my whole life I called it cream rinse. Anybody else? Please let me know down below in the comments if you also called conditioner cream rinse. Thank you. Anyway, so far I'm really liking these. I'm not like, wow, holy crap, I'm obsessed. It is on the pricier side. That's my one thing about it. So I think after I use up this, I might try to look for something that's a bit more affordable. But anyway, these are really, really great products. Kevin Murphy makes like awesome hair care products. So 
This is what I use currently for shampoo and conditioner. So I was using Orbe products for a while. Again, talk about pricey. Whew. Whew. But uh, these are two products I've had for like a year now and they're still left in the bottles. Uh, so I use the Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil and then I use the Orbe Balm Dior. Dior? Balm Dior? Dior? I don't know guys, I don't know what that is. So this is a heat styling shield. So I was kind of using this in my hair after I'd get out of the shower, but then I started using the Kenra. I think Orbe has one of the best smelling scents for their products. If they, ooh, I think I got uh, some on my nose. Anyway, uh, this is the hair oil that I use though. So I use this all the time. I use this when my hair's wet. I use it when it's dry. I use it after I style. Like every time after I style, I put like a dime or nickel size amount in my hand. I rub it around and I just kind of put it through my ends and it's a freaking fantastic oil. So I know a lot of people use like Moroccan oil for that or I know there's a ton of other hair oils but I think this one is fabulous and I really, really love it and I love the way it smells and I'm honestly only like not even halfway through the bottle and I've had this for a year. So I think that's awesome. I love this. I think Orbe makes great products. They make me feel fancy. I wish I could buy more of them but again, they're too expensive. Uh, speaking of a product that's not overly expensive, lasts forever, and is amazing, is the Verb Dry Shampoo. I have used every dry shampoo under the sun, and this is my favorite one. I love that a little bit goes a super long way. I love that this whole bottle can last me forever. I love the little nozzle, so even on super dry days, I can just like, foop, foop, like just squeeze it into my hair. I think it's better than the sprays. I love everything about this dry shampoo. So if you are like a dry shampoo junkie and you haven't tried this, please go try the Verb dry shampoo. Next, I also use two different shine sprays. I love shine sprays. I think you can't go wrong with a shine spray unless like it's a greasy day. Don't use a shine spray on a greasy day. But I used both of these today and I love them for different reasons. <laughs> So this is the Sparkling Soda Shine Mist by Dry Bar. And this says it creates a lightweight, glossy finish, which it totally does, and it tames frizz and flyaways. So this is super lightweight and it smells delicious. Again, like I said, all the products I use smell amazing. I'll show you guys actually. See how light that mist was? I just spray this in the ends of my hair all the time. And then the other one that I just recently got as well, this is the R & Co Shine and Texture Spray. So when I wear my hair in waves like this, I do like to add a little bit of really, really fine texture. The brand Oribe makes the best one ever. I ran out of it and I just figured I'd try something new. This one smells like honey, which is cool. So it's perfect if you're the kind of person who wants just a little bit of texture in their hair. This is not like crazy heavy beach texture. This is just like light, shiny, wearable texture. And then finally, the last hair care product is actually a Pacifica product. So I used this in my last video and I love this. So this is a salty wave spray. This says it's instant texture and definition for surfer girl hair without stepping foot in the water, which that's exactly what this is. So if you've been wanting to try a new salt spray or haven't tried one before, this isn't one that's super like crunchy, like you're gonna go crunch, crunch. I've tried those salt sprays before and that's a no-go for me. Uh, but this one's a really, really nice texture spray. I'm glad I stumbled upon this product when I was at Ulta. So yes, those are all of my current hair care products. I love hair care. I always think it's fun finding new things. I just try to find things that are good quality hair care products. Some of them are expensive and some of them are affordable. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use or any comments that you might have, go ahead and leave them down below. And I will catch you guys again in my next video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.